and welcome to this week's edition of BS with AJ. This week we're going to be talking about how to test your honeybees for Varroa mites. Alright, here's the equipment you're going to be needing to do the sugar roll to, te to check for Varroa mites from your bees. You're going to need some kind of container, pretty good size. You're going to need a half cup, uh, some water, a mason jar or something similar with a screen top here and some powdered sugar which we already have inside. Alright, the first thing you're going to want to do is to find a frame that has open, open larva on it because that's the most likely to have varroa mites on it. Alright, the way we like to do it is we're going to bump it into this container and then we're going to dump it out into the get the right amount that we need. Go ahead. Alright. All right, now that you've got your half cup of bees, you're going to go ahead and put it in this jar and put the lid on. Warning, there is violence. The lid will go on. All right. All right, the reason you want to grab a half cup of bees is because it's about 300. And you're looking for a magic number of Varroa mites. You don't want any more than six for sure. That's normally the limit for most people. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and shake it around vigorously for about one solid minute. Then you're going to set them down and let them set for two minutes. And after that, we'll get back to it. <laughs> Just so you know, the bees are going to get hurt you are going to lose a couple bees, but it's not as bad as the other ways. There's another another test that you can do. It's called the uh, alcohol roll, basically. And you just take some alcohol and take the half cup of bees, put it in there, and they all die. And then you wait for the royal mites to die and let off. Then you lose 300 bees for sure. We like to do it this way because after you're done, you can just go ahead and put them back in the hive. All right, that's one minute. So we're going to set it to the side and wait two minutes. All right, now that the bees are set for two full minutes, the reason you wait two, minute, two minutes is to give time for the varroa mites to let loose because they normally stay underneath the, uh, underneath the exoskeleton of the bees. And you're going to start shaking it just like this for one minute. As I stated earlier, there are you are going to lose a couple of bees, but you're not going to lose all of them like you would in the uh, alcohol roll. All right, now that it's been a full minute, we're going to go ahead and take our lid off and put our bees back inside. All right, are you going to go ahead and pour the bees just right back in here? Don't worry, they are going to get cleaned off. And like I said, most of them are going to make it. You may have just lost a couple of them. It's much better than the alcohol roll. All right, now that you've got that done, all you're going to do is take your water and pour some inside of here to dissolve all the all the sugar in here. Swirl it around a little bit. That way you can start counting your mites. All right, this little reddish orange speck is what you're looking for. We got as close up as I could on it so you could see it. But uh, this, you want to make sure that there's no more than six whenever you do this. And we only found about three, so this hive should be good. 
However, you do need to check the rest of the, uh, the hives in your yard. And if any of them have six or more, if that's your threshold, then you need to go ahead and treat every hive because they spread very easily and very fast. Hope you enjoyed this week's project. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any good ideas for other projects that you'd like to see, leave me a comment and I'll get to it. Uh, consider supporting us on Patreon so we can do bigger and better projects. Like, share, and subscribe, man. Come on back, baby.